afternoon students this is sandeep and uh, today we'll start new topic gradation right now what is gradation gradation means leveling the land right and uh, it can be raising or lowering the land surface right i hope it is clear means gradation can up the level or raise the level of the land or can lower the level of the land right now the question you have to attempt here what do you understand by the word gradation so simply you can write gradation means leveling the land and it can raise or lower the level of the land right now next we have two ways of gradation now what is what are the two ways of gradation they are here first one is a gradation and second one is degradation so a gradation means adding the sediments and raising the level of the land right now what happens uh, when there is soil erosion it is carried away by the agents of the erosion or weathering and then after they deposit them somewhere and raise the level okay the mountains are the example of a uh, gradation right now gradation we have what is degradation Gre uh, degradation means breaking and wearing away the sediments and lowering the level of the land now what happens when a river uh, suppose we take the example of a river a river flows down from the mountains it uh, breaks and beards away the sediments and then after deposit them somewhere now uh, look here in this picture here are this is uplift part right now when the river will flow from here it will carry away the sediments and then after deposit them now this is the second stage and in last it forms plains right now uh, the example is valleys or plains plains can be also be the example of degradation right where are the uh, sorry now the question that you have to attempt what are the two ways of gradation now a gradation degradation are the two ways and you have to explain them with an example right let's move to the next one now here are first of all agents we'll discuss about the agents of uh, uh, gradation there are so many uh, agents mainly running water is there winds are there sea waves are there glaciers are there and we'll dis uh, we'll discuss them one by one running water first of all it is an important agent of gradation now here we have river i is a uh, capital here you have to make it small right a river has a life cycle like a living form like you have a life cycle uh, once uh, you uh, you are a kid then after you will young then after mature then after old like this a river has a life cycle and it has three stages we can uh, divide them into three stages the first one is young one when a river takes birth it takes birth from the mountains and then after it flows over steep mountains and here its rate of erosion is maximum means it uh, carries a lot of sediments from there and then after due to its down cutting work when it is very fast from there it flows very fast from the mountains it forms i and v shaped valleys and waterfalls also okay uh, suppose this is the river this is coming from here uh, when it is like uh, coming like this it is forming i shaped valleys and when it will divide like this then it will form a v shaped valley right so this is the uh, formation of i shaped and uh, v shaped valleys and when it falls directly from uh, a mountain it forms waterfall right now the second stage it has is maturity stage it comes to its maturity stage when it enters the plains right the volume of water increased and the slope of land decreases resulting in slow speed of the river okay when uh, suppose this is the river coming from here and here is it reaches the plains so uh, it gets slow down uh, its 
this is the its a uh, maturity stage and here its speed slows down and then after uh, during this stage it uh, flows through meanders so what are meanders they are curvy uh, in next slide i have described them in this way it flows right this is this is called meanders now the third stage is old stage it becomes in its old stage it becomes large sluggish and gets divided into several tributaries right now uh, what happens uh, when in the plains from plains uh, when it reaches near a sea or ocean where uh, it dies so uh, what happens there uh, it becomes sluggish it has uh, uh, very much soil that it carries from the mountains and uh, then after it uh, gets divided into several tributaries and uh, <coughs> near its mouth it uh, deposits silt sand and sediments and uh, forms delta so delta is very important sundarvan delta is the largest delta okay sundarvan delta is the largest delta of the world and it is formed by river ganga and brahmaputra before uh falling in the way of bengal right now uh, at last a river dies in uh, to a sea or in a bay right now the question here i hope everything is clear now the question that you have to attempt to explain the life cycle of the river so this is the life cycle of the river young stage maturity stage and old stage you will uh, one by one describe this uh and this is very important it can be there in your exams of five marks uh and then how is delta delta formed so this is very important question also uh a ban a river from here to here these two lines it becomes large slug a river becomes large sluggies and gets divided into several tributaries in its old stage and then it deposits silt sand and sediments near its mouth and form and forms delta right how are i and v shaped valleys formed so uh, due to the down cutting work of uh, a river i and v shaped valleys are formed next we have so this is the cycle of the this is the stages of the river first one it takes birth here and it is very uh, it uh, flows down from the steep mountains and then after Yeah, it reaches here. It gets slow down, and its its maturity stage. It becomes uh, mature here, and then after it enters its old stage, and here it uh, uh, flows in meanders. Okay, and then after here it deposits all uh, everything that it carries with it, and then after it uh, falls down in a sea and dies. Right. i hope uh, this is clear to you now here we have meanders uh, i told you it is not in your syllabus uh, given properly but uh, i'm telling you with the example of this picture right so this is the curvy way of a river uh, the way of a river having a lot of curves and bends right now the river you can see here this uh, coming from here and then after going here and here in this way here is one more the west example so uh, these this way this curvy way of a river is known as meander right so the question that you have to attempt next we have glaciers glaciers are also a agent of gradation the mass of moving ice is called glacier okay this this is glacier i have uh, here picture let me make it clear to you here right now we have here uh, in india glaciers are found on high altitudes of himalaya it is about himalaya but not about Him himalaya everywhere glaciers are formed uh, found on high altitudes right where the temperature is below freezing point like running water moving ice also erodes loose particles of rocks it takes them along and deposit them behind when it melts right so uh, what happens when the ice sheets uh, they slips down what they uh, what does they do 
what do they do uh, they erodes loose particles of the rocks and them takes them along and deposit them when they melt right now uh, here are continental glaciers huge mass of ice which covers large area of a continent that is known as continental glacier here are two examples antarctica it is completely uh, covers with ice right and greenland is also an example of continental glacier now mountain there are uh, mountain glaciers which cover a small area not uh, like continental but they covered uh, less area than a continental glacier and what happens then um, siachen and gangotri glaciers they are in india now the question i hope this is clear and the question that you have to attempt here where are glaciers found so they are formed on the high altitudes uh, sorry they are formed on the high altitudes uh, not of himalaya right here is the question where are glaciers found so they are found on the high altitudes where where the temperature is below freezing point right i hope clear next how are glaciers cause gradation so moving ice all moving ice erodes not also uh, moving ice erodes loose particles of rocks and take them along and deposit them behind when they melts and th this causes gradation okay in this way they, uh, they cause gradation name two continental glaciers antarctica and greenland let's move to the next one here we have snow line uh, line this is very important what is a slow line so a slow line on the high mountains above which the snow never melts so now here is the example let me make it visible to you look here now what happens uh, suppose this is this is a mountain and uh, it uh, up to here in the season in the winter season up to here there uh, there is snow and uh, in summers it melts but it melts up to here so this is the snow line behind this behind this it never melts this is the snow uh, snow line right i hope uh, it is clear to you now De let's move to the next one now here bind is uh, bind is also a uh, isn't of gradation but before that air air can neither be seen nor felt okay you uh, cannot see air nor felt what what about the bend the swift horizontal movement of air which can be felt right which can be felt is known uh, is known and called both are here one is here it known is known as or is called bend right bend is also an isn't of gradation where there is little rainfall and meager vegetation okay meager vegetation this is means there is uh, less vegetation and uh, there is uh, land or the soil is exposed to the bend there the bend is a uh, very important isn't of gradation right so here the question that you have to attempt what is the difference between air and wind so air cannot be seen and felt what wind is swift horizontal movement of air which can be felt right so this is the difference between these two where is wind a most powerful agent of gradation so wind is a most powerful agent of gradation where there is rainfall is little rainfall and meager vegetation right i hope uh, it is clear now here wind can look look here this is this is the cause of wind the wind has done this okay so a wind can rub and scrap rocks resulting strange shaped rocks like mushroom cut rocks this is mushroom cut rock right this is due to the bends so uh, the question that you have to attempt here how are strange shaped rocks formed uh, so the answer will be 
स्ट्रॉन्ग वेड्स रब एंड वेट मिनट स्ट्रॉन्ग वेड्स बेंड्स रब एंड स्क्रैप रॉक्स एंड फॉर्म नो फॉर्म स्ट्रेंस शेप्ड रॉक्स लाइक मशरूम्स यू कैन गिव एग्जाम्पल मशरूम कट रॉक्स नाउ हियर वी हैव वियर लैंड इज एक्सपोज टू स्ट्रॉन्ग वेंड्स दिस इज फ्रॉम समवेयर प्रीवियस स्लाइड दिस इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्लाइड द लूज पार्टिकल द लूज रॉक पार्टिकल्स आर इजली ब्लोन अवे बाई स्ट्रॉन्ग वेंड्स दिस इज मोस्ट कॉमन in desert area okay in uh, desert areas like these areas wind easily blown away the sand right now here uh, what we have the bear winds get slow down they deposit when uh, suppose the wind is blowing from here and here it gets slow so what uh, will it do the material the sand that is and uh, that it is carrying from here it will uh, deposit that here and form dunes these are the pictures of dunes right this way the heaps the heaps of sand they are dunes okay sand dunes are found in western part of rajasthan in india it's about india okay they are found in the western part of rajasthan now the question that you have to attempt here how do dunes form so dunes are formed uh, by the bends when they get slow, uh, slow down and deposit the material right uh, and where do you find them in india we find them in india in the western part of rajasthan right let's move to the next one this is the last agent of uh, gradation sea waves they are most pow powerful agent of uh, gradation along the sea shore sea shore right their continuous striking breaks the rocks and this erosion forms steep sided cliffs what are cliffs these are cliffs okay facing sea the eroded material is deposited along the sea coast forming beach now uh, there is no picture of beach uh, but happens the then they strike when the winds sea waves strike the rocks they break the particles they erode them and uh, then after they carry them with them and deposit them along the sea coast and form beach right i hope it is clear so how do sea waves form steep sided cliffs sorry they uh, form they strike the striking of striking of sea waves breaks the rocks and this erosion forms steep sided cliffs okay the eroded material deposited along the sea coast forming beach right so this is about this question okay how do sea waves form steep sided cliffs they form steep sided cliffs by eroding eroding the rocks okay and when they deposit the material along the sea coast they form beach right let's move to the next one uh, sorry here we have homework for you so uh, you have to write and learn as said in the video and check your notebooks learn all the question that are given for the parents uh, help guide and motivate the child keep testing them and uh, not testing keep taking test and uh, give positive remarks okay now next we have subscribe the channel like and share the video it will motivate to work me more hard uh, this is this is something wrong here but no problem it will motivate me to work more hard if you like and share the video and subscribe my channel right now next uh, here we have stay home stay safe thank you